It's official. The Barbados Water Authority is set to receive tens of millions of dollars in grant funding from the Green Climate Fund. It's all about building out its network and building in resilience in the face of the effects of climate change. The Deputy Prime Minister, Santia Bradshaw, was on that virtual call for the signing of the agreement. Here's what she had to say. The grant of US 14 million is a significant achievement for the Barbados Water Authority and the government of Barbados. The project started um, some many years ago under the visionary leadership of the late Dr. Hugh Seeley, who would have developed the funding proposal along with senior management of the Barbados Water Authority, Mr. Keith Roy Halliday, general manager on the call, I believe, and technical advisor to the Barbados Water Authority board. Dr. John Mwanza also on the call. It was supported by Dr. Elon Kaduggan and Dr. Daniel Khan from the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, who provided much guidance in helping us to unlock this and other funding um, to help with climate change. I believe Prime Minister Motley just last year at the UN General Assembly reminded in front of all of the other world leaders of that the failure to address climate change could have devastating impacts on small island developing states. We're pleased that this particular application um, was amongst nine other applications and, and the only one from the Caribbean. Um, I think that is a quite significant achievement on behalf of Barbados. And we look forward to utilizing these funds to be able to assist us in carrying out upgrades to our Bridgetown sewage treatment plant, to a tertiary treatment system, to provide for the installation of wastewater treatment systems in two zone A locations here in Barbados and to harness reclaimed water, which will be utilized for aquifer recharge and agricultural irrigation. What this symbolizes for us really is not just a win for the Barbados Water Authority, but a win for government and a win for climate change action. For the Barbados Water Authority, as would have been mentioned um, by the Deputy Prime Minister in her summary or her remarks, as well as Minister Ryan Strawn, funds will be used, and, and it's important to understand what I'm saying here, that the funds will be used for capital expenditure purchases, capital budget. It is grant funding, which means that the funds are being allocated on a very well-defined basis through the intermediary five Cs, who is actually the accredited entity. And they will be handling the procurement and the disbursement of funds in a very strict manner, really for, first of all, the upgrade, of the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant, the installation of a further one megawatt facility, really to defray some of the expenses and costs, and as well as to add some measure of resiliency for the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant, and to enable us to improve some of our management systems, um, both from a technological point and from a, a capacity standpoint at the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant. But I thought it was very important that everyone understands where the, how the flow of the funds will go, and as well to understand that there's a process. Also on that virtual call was the minister in the Ministry of Finance, Ryan Strawn. He revealed there are a number of other projects in the pipeline for which the government of Barbados will be seeking GCF support. We are working to make sure that we can not just execute this project, but be able to bring to the GCF and others a range of other projects that we, can, that we hope will be able to win your, your support. But we believe, just like we've been doing with respect to the, the execution of the definition swap, that these can serve as examples for how we can supersize the response, not just in Barbados, but across the region, and therefore put the Barbados and the rest of the region on a sustainable path. And we believe that the Green Climate Fund, certainly by example, can demonstrate to the rest of the world that we can mitigate risk, we can build resilience, and we can also include our people in the transformation and certainly the adaptive effort as it relates to responding to climate change. And as we roll out these projects, we will be updating you right here on Water Wednesday so you can see firsthand how we are getting the job done. It's all about not only improving our service to you, our customers, but building in resilience 
in our network. We want to thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. You can go to our socials on Instagram and Facebook for additional information or subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there.